Okay, another computer video, guys. Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, so basically what we're doing is here we're going to go and we're going to update Super Anti-Spyware. It's a free program. Uh, for the, the trial version is free and basically um, you can use the trial version for quite a while. Um, it will occasionally send you these little things on the side of your screen saying, hey, you should update or you should buy the full version, etc. <clears throat> and that's all up to you. So what we're going to do, we haven't run this uh, for probably almost a year. Uh, this is a friend of mine's computer and we're just going to take a look at what has also happened is the Firefox browser has been corrupted. Now, if you use Google Chrome quite a bit and you don't use Firefox or you use some similar browser to Google Chrome Internet Explorer, it may uh, corrupt Firefox. Now, that's just my thoughts. So, um, this is the second one in a row I've come across that has a corrupted Firefox browser. Now, I'm not going to run the, the anti-spyware program right now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going, I'm just going to uh, update it. And then I will, I will run, uh, I will try Firefox and show you what it does. And then, I'll, then we'll go to Firefox and brown, uh, download a brand new uh, browser, a brand new Firefox browser. Okay, so that's the Super Anti-Spyware update process, basically. And this is real time. This is a, oh, it's a, a i3 core processor. I think it's got a regular uh, mechanical hard drive in it. Um, it's pretty slow. Um, but, uh, last scan was 209 days ago. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run the scan. We're going to run a quick scan. Quick scan. Quick scan usually gets it. Gets most of the crap. If you have... Uh, if your computer is slowing, it's still slow when you... After you've done the quick scan, then go ahead and do the deep scan. This pretty much does the same as... Uh, cleaning up all your temporary files, basically. And so we're going to close this down, and we're going to uh, click on Firefox and then see what Firefox does. So it's thinking, it's thinking, it's not, it's not opening. Um, so yeah, there's a problem with the Firefox browser. I believe that if you um, browse with, okay, there, there it goes. If you browse with Google Chrome, it corrupts, it will automatically corrupt the uh, Firefox. This is just my guess. I've run across two of these in a row that, uh, that have become corrupted by people who are not real familiar with using Firefox and they have a lot of their passwords, etc. on Google Chrome, so <clears throat> some people don't even remember their passwords, like me. Uh, and so... If you use another browser, of course, the passwords won't be on, won't be on there. <clears throat> okay, you can see there's some problem with this. Now, there's the little advisory about your software update. Now, basically, I don't never update here. I just go and update the, the uh, definitions when I update. So, let's see. This is, okay, so, this is Firefox. So, Firefox is running a little, little bit slow, but it is working. So... Uh, this seems to be good. Now, <clears throat> let's see what other programs we have here. And let's see, uh, Super Anti Spyware. So we've already picked up 992 tracking cookies. So that's it's slowing your computer down, basically. It's whenever you go to the website, it tracks what you do, basically. Yeah. It's saying, stop, look at me, who am I, you know, where are you, etc. 
Um, you know, I was dump. I was run the Super Annex Bioware program 99% of the time when I shut my computer down. Now, some people leave their computer plugged in, and I don't agree on that one. Uh, if you are, uh, if you want to conserve, whatever, preserve the battery life of your computer, you have to cycle the, the battery every once in a while. It's not a good idea to leave your uh, laptop plugged in, you know, all the time. So basically, it's kind of like getting exercise. You need to get some exercise, and you also need to exercise your battery occasionally. So we have a lot, a lot of things. 992 tracking cookies already. Let's see what other programs we have here that might help clean up here. Now let's see. We got. Uh, uh, I think we have Spybot here. But, uh, Spybot, uh, we have Skype. So, the thing about Skype is that a lot of times it's running in the background, so it's going to be slowing down your computer. Um, I have actually <clears throat> not used Skype. I have had it on my computers and, and didn't use it and took it off because I found that it was running and possibly slowing things down. Okay, so I don't see SpyBot. We don't have SpyBot. I'm not sure. Okay, so Windows Security, Windows PowerShell. Let's see what this Windows Security is. So it apparently has some sort of built-in security program that doesn't seem to be doing much. This, okay, so here it is. Uh, security at a glance. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's SpyBot Search and Destroy. And we're going to open that up. Let's see, what is it? I wonder why the uh, command or the uh, command prompt went in. Okay, so here's what you do with SpyBot. Basically, we're going to update first thing. And it's going to go and probably ask me if I want to do this. And so we're going to go here. We're going to go SpyBot Lab. I don't know what that is. Yeah, this computer is kind of slow. Okay, so we're going to update here. 366 days ago, it was updated. Checking for updates. I will run SpyBot uh, probably maybe once a week. And I always run anti-spyware or 99.9% .9 of the time when I shut my computer down. I run the anti-spyware. I run a C cleaner uh, just to uh, double check everything. Okay, so we're up to date. We're going to close this window down. And then we're going to go immunize. It's going to ask me if I want to, yes. And we're going to go check system. And then once we've done the check system, then we're going to basically scan. I'm going to run the scan. And uh, and then we're pretty much done with this one today. And thanks for watching. If you need any laptops or repinner, uh, printers repaired, you can contact me. Laptops repaired at yahoo.com. Or 707-443-8347. Okay. So here's the anti-spyware results. 992 uh, tracking cookies found. We're going to click continue. And we're going to go down here again and click continue again. And so we're removing 992 tracking cookies. So she hasn't uh, cleaned up the cookies for almost a year.
and she gathered 992 tracking cookies. And so from what I understand, the tracking cookies slow down your computer. And they're basically reporting your your uh, your uh, websites. Basically, the websites that you go to, uh, they basically count how many times they go you go there. And they tell the big artificial intelligence sky uh, computer in the sky. Uh, they basically create an electronic profile of you uh, when you use uh, the internet, unless you are running like a Linux Tails program or something like that, and <clears throat> and uh, you know going on the internet at Starbucks and uh, other diff different public places. That's the only way you can remain somewhat anonymous okay let's see I think I need to apply immunization uh, but you need to apply immunization I think I already did it but we're gonna do it again so this is the only knowing thing right here with the free program it says 24 7 support blah 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 that thing will pop up just take your little cursor and say goodbye to that and occasionally it may pop up it may only pop up when you boot your computer up okay so we applied immunization now we're going to just go ahead and scan system and it'll probably ask me if i want to scan yes i want to scan and go ahead and scan it now the spy bot basically is another free program they have a paid version and so this is the free program and so the paid program I'm not familiar with, but uh, the free program is more of a kind of a program for spyware. It's not particularly for any kind of viruses. And Spybot has a paid program for viruses, uh, but I don't use it. I would imagine it's a pretty good program, um, but I don't use it. A lot of people simply run Linux, uh, Linux Mint or some other uh, type of Linux program and so they don't have to worry about the typical Windows viruses and so anyway thanks for watching and have a great day